Well, well, well. Guess who we have on our channel again today? We have my dad, my father-in-law. Last time we were on here, he made fish fry for us. Today, we're gonna make this traditional breakfast dish, which is called Verta Upham. My kids love it, I love it. He's just gonna explain to us how do we make it. So dad, how do we make Verta Upham? Yeah, yeah today, then what happened like an appetite? Pariyambu, I am. You guys have a lot of stone. I am. But then, ah, that one, I am. That one, petty pariyambu. Two cups of pachiri, one tablespoon of onion powder, one two tablespoon of cooked rice. I am. One two tablespoon coconut powder, one teaspoon yeast, two tablespoon sugar. This is the most important thing. One pachiri. Urusan baru pun berlalu tidak suka kerana dua hari atau satu malam. Then wash ya, itu kan. Nampol grinder lalu. Yang ni, hari yang mana itu semua grinder lalu. Grinder lalu itu, yang lalu urusan ni cerita hari kerana hari cerita. Alpan air, alpan air lalu dua hari sehinggal baca berlalu patah tidak baca mudi baca. Ada teri pulih cepungnya urusan bom. Nama kita itu, ini apapun dah kerana patah tidak pertama boil. Jadi, anak orang apam watak pun nak kanal bahasa orang le, hari ni kita, nama le, pemandan, beberapa apa nak buat macam ni, ikhwan, beragam, hendak ni ada pun, nama kita kuteh orang buat macam, dah, am pas he, hari ni sugar ni ada, nama le ista, ni ada, hari ni ada sugar macam mana boleh, nama le ista ni ada, ni sugar ni, nama kita apam ayam watak pun, ini nak kuteh orang orang terus taste ni macam, ini dah ni nak kah, sugar ni tu nak kah, ada awal ni ada, orang orang terus Taste and taste should be not pure. Yeah. Well, so basically, what my father in law said was we use rice, dal, the cooked rice, the coconut, the yeast, and the sugar. So basically, he has to allow the rice and the dal to sit in either like a hot, warm water. It has to soak for like what, a few hours yeah. just so he can soak with, the, um, with everything and just grind everything in a grinder. Once we grind everything in a grinder, we let we have to allow it to sit so it can rise once it rises then we steam it and then we let it steam for a period of time and then you know you have your upper so let us show you how we make up them Okay, the final process of Wata Upam is complete. I'll be right back, I'm gonna bring it over. Okay, now dad, can you show us, can you take it out and show us how it is? Oh. oh, this is nice. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. So beautiful. Wow. So, yeah. Give me all. Need some help? Give me one knife. Oh, a knife? Okay. Mmm. Yeah, you, you cut it? Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Let me try this. Can you see? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Dad, this is so good. It's good. Yeah. It's perfect. My kids love this. Dad, thank you for the water up them. So amazing. 
Mm. But any subscribers, far subscribers, please, if you have any comments, comment below. Let us know what you think. I love Upham. I'm starting to learn more about the Malayali culture, my wife's culture. I love it. I embrace it. My kids love it. And I look forward to learning a little more in the food. Yeah, it's nice. It is good. Tasty. It's really good. Really good. So, Dad, how do we make this up? Yeah. So, my dad is going to take it over. He's going to explain to us how we make appam. So, Dad, explain to us how we make appam. Yeah. In the end, whatever I can do, I can do it. Yeah, 